When it came to my nutrition, one of the things that I definitely love to do, and if you guys would like to know what I eat in a day or in a week, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll be sure to do that for you. But I'll give you examples of the kinds of things that I ate for breakfast. I'm the type of person that gets really, really bored when it comes to food. So I like to definitely switch things up quite a lot. So for breakfast, I would either have an egg and two egg whites because I needed that protein for the start of the day. And I would have that with one whole grain bread. I'd also have a whole grain bread with 100% peanut butter and I'd have that with orange juice and you might think these are filling foods but they actually are. They last you quite some time and I would eat at least five days a week so that would be three big meals and then two snacks so it was actually quite filling and it would last me a few hours at least. Another thing that I would eat as well is oats. Love oats. Oh my gosh they are oh so good so good the one that i love is the quaker oats it's the one that has the different flavors so you can have like golden syrup apple and cinnamon or something like that i love the golden syrup one and it's so easy to make as well this is what i love it's so easy to make all you have to do is literally pour the oats in put some water and then just put it in your microwave for two minutes and it's literally ready to go so i love really quick meals i don't like to cook for ages especially when i have work or you know i'm in a rush and things like snacks, I would have almonds, love almonds. Sometimes I would have like the bevita, is it the bevita rice cakes? Not rice cakes, like the breakfast cereal biscuits. So tasty, they are quite sugary, so just be careful about that. Dried mangoes, that was another kind of treat because that was quite sugary as well. Dinner, I would have a spinach and feta cheese omelet. I would have, you know, salad, so Greek salad. I would eat salmon. I'm not really someone that eats meat that much. If I go out on the occasions when I meet my friends and I will kind of eat or indulge in meat but I typically like to eat fish so mackerel salmon and I would have that with like um, whole wheat pasta and mixed vegetables and oh my gosh it is so tasty guys so good these are the kinds of foods that I loved to eat fruits bananas my obsession I would typically start eating breakfast around 7 30 I would have a snack around 10 and then my lunch would be about 12 12 30 this is usually in like a work week I'd have another snack at around maybe three four o'clock so that it can kind of just keep me going going until I finish work at 5 and then I would have my dinner around 6.30 so that it would have enough time to digest and then I would work out around like 8 o'clock so that's kind of like the typical work routine for me when I'm not working which is usually like weekends I do tend to kind of vary the times that I eat and one important thing as well is just allowing yourself to have a cheat day not not sorry <laughs> not a cheat day guys not a cheat day i meant to say allowing yourself to have a cheat meal <laughs> every every other day is what i meant to say just treat yourself because the last thing you want to do is to crave something man let me tell you i have had random cravings for milkshakes ice creams chips i had a craving for chocolate and like i don't really eat chocolate like that at all that one day i just obsessed over it like i was just like oh my gosh i need chocolate right now and i went and bought chocolate and it's not something to feel bad about because i also used to have another unhealthy obsession with food it would get to the point where i would eat something bad and feel bad about myself and then I would carry on eating bad things. It would just spiral out of control. One thing you have to have to do if you really want 
to get fit or just healthy in general is to discipline yourself and stay focused it's a lot easier said than done but it is possible as well so don't ever think that you can't do certain things that other people are doing you can't control your cravings or you feel like you have to eat lettuce or salad every single day and you can't enjoy yourself of course enjoy yourself but just be careful and find the balance that works for you because at the end of the day you have to do this for yourself you can't do it for anybody else so have that conversation with yourself that's kind of like the nutrition side of things and quickly i just want to kind of talk to you about how i stay motivated in times when i really don't want to work out and that's literally having a goal and following people that inspire you and that will motivate you so for example some of the people that i follow on my instagram besides sean t is get bodied by jay if you've ever seen this girl's body like it is on another level okay right now she's pregnant at the moment but she still works out and i thought to myself you know what i have no excuse if someone who is heavily pregnant can still work out and look good then I do not have the excuse. It's all about your mindset. If you're constantly going to tell yourself that you can't do something or you can't be bothered to do something, you're never gonna do it. Another person that I follow is Socialite Sandy, love her. I actually started following her journey when she started the team transformation and she'd go to the gym and she'd be nutritious and things like that. And now after she's had twins, she still goes to the gym. She still looks after her body. So again it's not an excuse another person i follow is makeup shayla i follow her on snapchat and every time i see that girl in the gym i just literally get up straight away i put my gym stuff on i'm like right we're gonna do this thing together and some final sort of inspirational motivational people are actually my friends and family because they too started insanity they too started going to the gym getting healthy running different kinds of exercises to look after their health so that also motivated me because knowing that i had someone that i knew that was trying to reach the same goals as me made me feel that much more motivated and if you have friends or family members that also want to lose weight why don't you build a little community or communicate with them so that you have someone that's also encouraging you and just making you feel like you can do this there are loads of forums that will have people that are doing the same thing as you that can encourage you to keep going and i think it's absolutely amazing but again if you don't want to join those forums then find that inner self-confidence find that inner self-esteem to self-motivate yourself always constantly have a vision and have a goal something to work towards because that will definitely keep you on the right track and I actually have a vision board and on that wall it has so many different goals and aspirations that I have for myself and on that same vision board it has a picture of insanity so every time I wake up in the morning that is what I see if you're someone that finds it difficult to kind of visualize your goals then definitely think about doing a vision board put up a picture of people that you look up to people that motivate you also be very careful about the types of people that you aspire to be like don't compare yourself to other people don't beat yourself up as well if you're on this fitness journey and you don't look exactly like these instagram models out there because let me tell you honey some of these things are photoshop if you are on a fitness journey or if you've accomplished your goal or whatever goal you are striving for health fitness losing weight gaining weight leave a comment down below i would love to follow your journeys and follow my instagram as well because i post before and after pictures i post so many different things on there and i will definitely see you guys very very soon like share and subscribe this video if you did enjoy it and make sure to turn on that notification bell 
to get more updates on when I upload videos. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye! Try to say your head less, boy, don't do it. If you say I'm on your mind, I just want you to.